everyone, it's OGM CI here. How you doing? Welcome you back to my Let's Play of Eternal Sonata. Last time round, we finished exploring the Chorus Plains and we began exploring the Fort Fermata. And we ended up in this sort of like little rest area here, halfway through the dungeon. But let's continue on. Over this way. I'm going to avoid this ladder for the time being. I'm going to try and dodge you. And as you're going to head up here and down this ladder, because if we go into this building, this is the whole gimmick of this dungeon. And you get an automatic encounter right here, so let's fight it. And you can see the enemies go right behind you. So they're not afraid to, to attack you from behind. And once they do, they get a free attack on you, so you have to be extremely careful. Nice. But luckily I can do the same thing to these guys, to the enemy. And I missed. Uh, should be okay. Okay. Wow, um, that was bad. And, wow, they heal each other. And I missed that. I should have attacked him from the front. Oh, they got him. Missed a special attack. But the echoes do help with the healing as well, so I did get a little bit more healing thanks to that. Oh, I missed that. Didn't miss that though. Wow, look how much HP Beat has. Yeah, these enemies are really tough. But they're nearly dead. Nice. Phew! Ugh. But I do get a double level up from that. Nice. And I think I'm gonna heal after that. Um, I'm gonna use... I'm gonna use a Club Clover. Bop, covers 3,000 HP to everybody, and this little switch, okay there's a switch here, what should I do? Let's push it, and you hear a rumbling, and you wonder what's going on? Did something move? Why yes, Alberto, that something did move. That something is, do you remember that room that was sort of floating? Uh, in the previous episode. Yeah, that's the gimmick to this dungeon. This room floats and goes to other areas in the dungeon. And I don't think it's actually here, is it? Um, I see you, enemy. I don't want to fight you. I'm trying to dodge you. Good. Yeah, it's not here. It's on the other side. And I'm gonna try and dodge you. Good. I'm used to all our RPGs where save points heal you. Uh, in this game, they don't. Be aware of that. 
So yes, I am heading all the way back because something has happened to, the, to that floating room. It has moved. So we're heading back essentially towards the floating room where it was originally. We're sort of in the middle of the, of the fort on the left hand side. And now, hopefully, if I've done things right, it should be on the right-hand side of the fort. Of in the left, of the right-hand side in the left-hand side of the room. On the left, on the left room. So there is a little bit of backtracking in this dungeon, and that's obviously, you know, not the best thing to do, but. It's a par for the course, and as you can see, the room is ended up here now, so we head down, and I think there's an enemy here, so I'm just going to take a white berth, yep, I see it. Try and dodge you, dodge you, and I'm going to dodge you, nice. Because you get a chest, and this is a chest you contain the poison blood. This is a weapon for Allegretto, and it's actually a really good weapon because it gives a chance of poisoning the enemy in the sword. Every time you attack, I think it's like a 20 or 30% chance of inflicting poison on an enemy. And believe it or not, most enemies are like weak to status effects. They can't really be immune to any of them, so. You can use that to your best, to the best of your ability. I should be heading to this room now. Because we're going to activate this switch here. Did something move? Yes, Allegro, something did move. So we're gonna explore we're gonna explore that little bit because the room here has disappeared. It's now gone into the room we were previously on the other side. So we're gonna head back there. As I mentioned, yeah, this this dungeon has a bit of backtracking to it. Um not much I can do about that, except just keep going forward and trying to get all the items in the game um, even though I missed a few items back earlier on um, I'm going to try and get most of the items in the game because they're free and you need to get them because some of them are equipment, some of them is armor, some of them is uh, money although you don't get very much money in chests actually, you get most of your money in battle um, so you do have to be aware of that and you have to be aware of money management uh, in this game uh, unless you're playing the Xbox 360 version, which you could just exploit the photograph glitch that I talked about earlier on in this Let's Play. So we're just back here on the other side. Again, avoiding that ladder. And avoiding you, because I see you. And now, the room that was in the centre of the left-hand side is now here. So let's go into it and on to the other side of it. I thought it was here earlier, but I made a little bit of a mistake there, so apologies on that front. This dungeon can get quite confusing, so very easily for very easy to get confused in it. So again, just dodging these enemies. And I'll just wait until you go around. Most enemies have a relatively easy to figure out movement pattern, but if they see you, they go towards you and they will try and get a back attack on you, which of course is bad, because it means that they get a turn first before you do. However, you can do the same to the enemy. If you manage to go around to the back of an enemy, you can get a surprise attack on them and get the first turn before they get to attack. There's nothing here. I thought there was. So heading up through here, dodging more encounters. Uh, uh, nope, 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 nope. 
See what I mean? The enemy just sort of runs straight towards you once they see you. Are you gonna turn? You're gonna turn. Am I actually trying? Yeah, I'm gonna fight you. But because I attack them from behind, I get the first turn before they do. Which is always good. I'm gonna pelt them with shade comets. Wow, they're not dead. Well, he's dead. At least. Not one enemy dead. And he's expending all of his movement to get close to me. And I missed that. But I should be able to kill this guy. Yep. Um, I'm actually going to go into melee here with Polka, because I might as well. Because the healing areas are to the side, to the edge, the very edge of the arena. And I don't think I'll be able to reach. So I'm just going to try and clock as much damage as I possibly can to kill the enemy before they can kill me. There is no way for you to stop. I this and that's level up for Frederick. My journey continues. Nice. So just heading up here and I, you're going to see me. Trying to dodge a lot of these encounters. Good. Need to head up here and down this ladder. Ladders are quite difficult to actually navigate in this game. You sort of have to go in the direction that they are in. And heading up this ladder. And heading down all the way down here. There's no enemies in this little bit, so it's really handy. Because there's a chest here. And it contains a maple baton. This is a weapon for Frederick, and I think this actually increases his max HP, yes. Increases his, his HP by 5%. Doesn't sound like a lot, but 5% can actually mean a little, a lot more than you think. So, you should definitely equip it. There's no reason really to not equip new equipment. There are a few instances later on in the game where we'll find equipment that I might not equip for specific reasons. But hopefully I'll be able to point those out to you and explain precisely why I don't want to equip them. Because some equipment is is good but also bad for specific reasons. They might have like a status effect on them or a bad status effect on them. Yes, weapons can have bad status effects on them as well as good. Just heading across here, dodging you and into this little hut here because there's another switch. So let's push it. Did something move? Yes, Allegro, something did move. So I'm going to try and dodge you. And I did. And did I go this way? I don't remember. I climb up this ladder. Yes, I do go this way because I can actually go across this, this little platform here. And head down this ladder. And into this room again. Again, just dodging these encounters. And because there's another chest here. And it contains... A rocket fire, which is a weapon for Viola. So let's equip it. Increases her attack power by five. Pretty good. Yeah, and just waiting on these enemies. Heading up and dodging you. Don't worry, enemies can't climb ladders. So once you climb a ladder, you're relatively safe. 
from encounters. So I actually went the wrong way there a little bit. So heading up this way. Down this ladder. And then up this ladder again. And instead of going down or south, uh, we're going to head north. I prefer to use compass points than actual like cardinal directions, so I will definitely try and use them more. Um, sometimes I switch back and forth, but I do tend to use compass directions because they're a lot more easier to ascertain where you're going. And yeah, you see that big enemy up there? Yeah. Um, <laughs> we're not gonna fight him just yet. And the door is locked from this side too, so you can't do anything. But we are going to end this episode right here. A little bit of a shorter episode this time round. Hopefully that's okay. We did ex fully explore Fort Formata. And um, I'm actually going to grind off screen a little bit because I'm actually quite under leveled. I'm level 10. The recommended level for this boss fight coming up. Um, I mean, fairly self-explanatory that it is a boss fight, is level 12. So yeah, I'll be doing a bit of grinding off screen. So hopefully that's okay again, folks. Hopefully you, you guys don't mind, you folks don't mind me grinding off screen. Um, but thank you folks for watching. Um, I really do appreciate the views that I've been getting and the comments that I got on, I got a, a positive comment in the previous episode, which really definitely helped me out on made me more positive and more hyped to continue doing what I'm doing right now. And I do appreciate it. So thank you folks for watching. And with that being said, of course, I will see you again.